I'm Jamie Hooper with Remax Crest and jamiehooper.com and today we're going to be talking about the five most critical mistakes home sellers make when selling their homes. Sometimes these mistakes can wind up costing sellers thousands and thousands of dollars. You won't want to miss this. Deadly mistake number one, overpricing your home. If you take nothing else from this video today, please make sure that you take this part away with you. Overpricing your home is the most critical mistake that you can make when selling your home. The typical home seller will say, well, just tell them to make me an offer. The problem is, the people that you want to make you the offer won't be interested in your home, and here's why. If your house is worth $1.5 million and you price it for $1.8 million, what that's going to do is it's going to bring in people that can afford $1.8 million to buy a home. When they have a look at your home, if they look at three or four others that are worth $1.8 million and then they come into yours and yours is only worth $1.5 million, you're not going to compare. You may have a great house for $1.5 million, but you don't have a great house for $1.8 million. And what this will do is it will bring in the wrong people and you will not see any offers come through. So that's why that old uh, uh, adage of just tell them to make me an offer doesn't work. You've got the wrong people coming into your house. And where are the people that can afford $1.5 million? They're not coming in. They don't think they can afford the house. So that's why people, when realtors are always stressing to their clients, you need to price it properly. That's the reason. Mistake number two, picking a realtor with no online presence. It's the 21st century, everybody. You need to market your home online. The days of just throwing up a for sale sign, doing an open house, and putting it on the MLS, and throwing an ad in the newspaper are long gone. 90% of home buyers, the first place they go to check when they're looking for a property is online. You need a realtor that is social media savvy and has a good up-to-date website. Mistake number three. Thinking that you need a Mandarin or Cantonese speaking agent to represent you in the sale of your home just because the vast majority of buyers may speak that language. Well, this isn't true. All you need that agent to speak is the language that you speak because that's who the person you're going to communicate with uh, uh, is, is your own agent. So most of the buyers that will come in to look at your home are going to have their own agent. And if they're Cantonese or Mandarin speaking, they've probably got someone that will speak their language. Very few buyers come in unrepresented. And earlier this year, the provincial government made it more difficult for realtors to operate under what is called dual agency to represent both the buyer and the seller. So if that buyer of yours only speaks Mandarin, they're able to speak with their agent who will uh, speak with the seller's agent. So the seller's agent has no need to speak in a different language uh, to communicate with the possible buyers that come in. Uh, in British Columbia, you also need to be able to speak English to get your real estate license, so the buyer's agent will probably be fluent in both of those languages, thereby taking away any of those problems and any of those misconceptions that people may have. Reason number four, not showcasing your home properly. And what I mean by showcasing, I mean that you should give serious consideration to getting a professional home stager in to have your house look beautiful and to make the pictures on the internet pop. Nowadays, your first showing isn't when the buyers come into your property. Your first showing is actually online. So having the home staged with professional photography is essential for getting top dollar for your home. So if you were going to sell your car, you'd probably take it down to the detailer to get it all done up so it looks pretty before you sell it. Your house is no different. Mistake number five, picking a realtor that tells you the highest price. In our business, the realtor's lingo for that is, we call it buying the listing, telling the seller what they want to hear just so you get their name on a contract, and then after you've done so, you'll hopefully, over a period of time, get them to work their price down to where it will get to be saleable. 
It's one of the oldest tricks in the book in the real estate industry, and you need to make sure that when a, a realtor comes in and tells you your home is worth X amount of dollars, get them to substantiate it by showing you comparable sales in the area where similar properties have sold for that price, so you know that they aren't buying the listing. We hope you found this information useful. Please make sure you look for us online at either jamiehooper.com or check out our Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn pages. If you require any further information, please either email us or give us a call and uh, we'll be sure to answer all your questions for you.